Hey guys, it's Domestic Chris and I'm here to talk to you about how much I spent on food, where I ate, and am I glad that I didn't get the dining plan when I went to Walt Disney World for eight nights during Marathon Weekend in January 2017. So, a little bit of background information. I spent 2016 saving money to go on a trip for my graduation gift to myself for running a marathon at Walt Disney World. And I used a series called Mickey Money Monday and where every week I shared how and saved up all this money. I uh, started out with the goal of the one trip. I saw that I was saving money so quickly and so much that I was able to budget for two additional trips. One to Disneyland to do the light side and another one to go to the dark side race again. And we're also planning a cruise uh, later in this year. So um, I'll sh link up here for the um, playlist to that so that you can see exactly how I was able to save over $11,000 to go towards those three trips. But today we're gonna to talk about the dining plan um, and food costs at Walt Disney World. So there were four people, myself, my husband, and my two children. And if we were going to use a dining plan for the trip that we planned, it would have been the deluxe dining plan because we had several, really only table service meals. We ate quick service once, <laughs> and my husband got pizza once. <clears throat> So if we were gonna do it, we would have had a deluxe. Now a deluxe plan for the four of us would have cost $2,326.88 for the 2017 deluxe dining plan, which includes three meals and two snacks per day. And those meals also include appetizers. Um, that would have been a lot of food, a lot of food. And we wouldn't have used it all up because um, three times eight is 24 <laughs> table service meals and we only used 13 table service meals. So then I would have had to have turned those table service meals into um, snack credits and I could have come home with a whole bunch of snacks to like give to people but I didn't wanna do that. And I talked about that in a previous video about why I had already decided I wasn't getting the dining plan and I will also go ahead and link that up here for you. So. Like I said, we ate a total of 13 quick service, um, would have used 13 quick service credits. I mean, excuse me, table service credits. We had um, reservations at 50's Primetime Cafe, Hollywood and Vine, Crystal Palace, Cinderella's Royal Table, which is a two table service, um, Ohana for breakfast, Spirit of Aloha, which is also two table service. Um, we ate quick service at Sunshine Seasons. Instead of eating at Akershush, the reservation that I had based on the timeline with the races and stuff, wasn't gonna work out. Um, I had planned to eat at Yorkshire Fish, we didn't eat there. Um, we had Chef Mickey's, One Table Service, Whispering Canyon, 1900 Park Fair, T-Rex, and Rainforest Cafe. My husband also ate a quick service meal alone the day that he flew in at our um, hotel, the Art of Animation, and then he got pizza, which room service pizza would have been two table service, but, which is ridiculous not $75 pizza okay um, but actually we got our food comped <laughs> because we were having trouble with our magic band so he got that pizza for free hooray um, so back in my trip total video I told you that I spent a total of $1,256.18 on meals and that is in great deal thanks to this handy dandy tables in Wonderland card this card is available to annual pass holders or Florida residents or DVC because you're kind of a Florida resident and an annual pass holder can be. Um, it's different price for different points. It cost me $150 as a signature premier passport holder <coughs> worth its weight in gold totally. What it does is it gives you 20% off of your food and it includes your 18% gratuity. You are going to pay that anyways, okay? So when you have on the dining plan, you're supposed to tip. Only um, a few restaurants like Spirit of Aloha, Hoop Did You Review, um, Cinderella's Royal Table have the tip included. Other than that, you're supposed to pay the 18% gratuity. It doesn't come out of your dining plan. It says that right on the thing. So when I said earlier, you know, it had been $2,326.88 for that deluxe dining plan, 
to add tip on top of that would have been $2,745.72. So like over $400 in tips, you know, to, you know, based just on the cost of that, not necessarily on the meal. So that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. And like I said, we were able to do that. Another thing that we did was I was able to use Landry Select card members. Um, as a Landry Select card member, I get a birthday reward and you get a sign up reward. And you pay $25 for the card, you get $25 right back. So it's kind of like it's free, it kind of pays for itself. Um, and then you get a birthday reward. Um, your birthday can be whenever you put it in there. Uh, use anniversary dates. I'll also link the video for explaining a little bit more about Landry's um, cards. I bought discounted McCormick and Schmidt gift cards um, to use at the Landry's restaurants, Yak and Yeti and Rainforest Cafe. Um, didn't eat Yak and Yeti. Uh, you can use it there though. Rainforest Cafe and T-Rex and saved a significant amount of money on that because I got $50 right off the top plus a discounted gift card and then I just usually um, was able to pay for $50 for our food even though it was like a $100 meal. Yay! <laughs> it worked out really great. So I would definitely, if you are going on a long trip, if you're planning on using a lot of table service meals. I mean, we would go pretty much had a table service meal for breakfast and for dinner, and we really didn't even have snacks. I brought some snacks. I intended to have snacks for lunch, but we just didn't even really eat that many snacks. I would have had so many extra snacks, and it's not because I wasn't buying them because I had to buy them, and I maybe would have ate more if I were on the plan. I would have been gorging myself just intentionally or bringing home a bunch of extra snacks. And that's n not what I wanted to do. Bring, I mean, I guess that would be nice, but I'm not gonna spend hundreds of dollars on snacks to bring home to my family. So if you're going there for a long time, if you like to eat table service meals, if you're gonna go more than once a year, I strongly suggest that at least one person in your party get an annual pass and that you get a Tables in Wonderland card and you use that. You can use it at all of the resort hotels, all of their quick service stations still get Tables in Wonderland discounts. Yes, annual pass holders also get a discount, but not as much as a Tables in Wonderland pass holder. And, you know, I had to prepay for um, Cinderella's Royal Table and Ohana, not Ohana, Spirit of Aloha. They gave me money back. <laughs> when I went to my reservation, I showed them my Tables in Wonderland card and they put money back on my card. I got um, $38.41 after Cinderella's Royal Table and $29.92. So I left Disney with $70 more <laughs> than I went there with. Um, they put money back on my card because I had Tables in Wonderland and the people still get their tip. You're gonna tip. The service at Disney World is usually pretty awesome. So you're saving 20% off of your meals. And when you're talking about, if you're going to peak times especially, character meals are the way to go because then you don't have to wait in line <laughs> to see the characters. They just come to your table. And Cinderella's Royal Table was an amazing experience, especially after just having gone to the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. And I'm so glad we did that. So in summary, Definitely, 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 if you can, if it makes sense for you, which it probably does, unless you're going for like a weekend, have somebody get an annual pass, get a Tables in Wonderland card, save money, and have a good time. All right, guys, that's what I've got for you about the dining plan. If you have any questions or comments, please go ahead and leave those in the comment box below. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you'd like to see some more videos, please go ahead and subscribe and I will see you real soon.